Hello everyone and welcome to Sugar's Kitchen. I am near the pepper tree in my garden. We have about 11 plants, 7 here and 4 in the front. So all have been harvested and uh, I plucked out the pods like this and then dried them in the sun. Sun dried in our garden. So they become jet black and brittle after they are totally dry. Why I am showing you this is because it's going to make a powder a kind of health powder which I will show you in my video. The other one is the turkey berry or the sundakya which also has tremendous health benefits which also grows in my garden. Let us just go to that plant. So this is the turkey berry or the sundakya which has tremendous health benefits. It's green in color and after it is dried in the sun it becomes dark like this. It has been sun dried. So for drying what you have to do is when you pluck out the pods, just crush them lightly and soak them in a mix of buttermilk and salt. It will take about a week to dry. It will absorb the buttermilk and de dehydrate to this kind of texture. This also goes into the podi. There are two, there are two, two plants. plants actually. One here and the other there. Oh. And I got a good harvest. And uh, it grows on the... Wayside everywhere in uh, So even Yelagiri. on the wayside, in the side streets of Yelagiri, there are plenty of plants and uh, my husband plucks them whenever he goes for a walk. But already the two plants in our garden has given a good yield. And these are the neem flowers which has been drying in the sun whole day. But I have already dried and kept for making the powder which is inside and I will just show you. So these are the somewhat fresh flowers that will take another week to dry. So you saw the plants from which we got but there are some more ingredients that I do not grow at home but I bought from the shop. And the other one is the Manatakali or the nightshade flower. Uh, the seeds of which also will go into this puri. It's called Manatakali in Tamil and nightshade flower in English. So then we have the pepper, the turkey berry. And the neem flowers which are well dried. One part of it I got it well dried. It is not available here in the hills. Although we have a lot of neem trees climbing up the hill. You will find a lot of neem trees. But somehow on top of the mountain we don't get many neem plants. So I source this from uh, Chennai from my sister-in-law. The other things that go into this are coriander seeds. Dania, jeera of cumin seeds along with a little karam or um, omam as we call it. A little bit of methi, salt, rock salt which has also been fried and dried curry leaves. So what I have done is I have taken one measure. This is a half a standard cup, 130 ml. So I have taken one measure of turkey berry, one measure of manatakali or nightshade. One measure of the neem flowers and then one tablespoon of pepper. One tablespoon of pepper, one ta two tablespoons of coriander, one tablespoon of jeera, half a tablespoon of methi, half a tablespoon of salt and a little curry leaves. And then half tablespoon or one tablespoon you can put. Uh, actually I have added one tablespoon of tuvar dal. The tuvar dal is just to give it a little bit of substance. As you can see, all these, the neem flowers, are very flimsy. They will powder very fast. And even the turkey berry will crumble very fast. To hold it in place, we need something. So I have just added a little tuvar dal, which is just one tablespoon. Now when you fry these ingredients, each one has to be fried separately. The reason is because each one has a different gradient of temperature to withstand. Neem flowers will uh, dry fast in the sun and will also like fry very fast. Whereas Tuvadal will take longer. The Manatakkali or nightshade also will fry very fast. And the turkey berry is already brittle. It will fry very fast. So it has to be kept on a low heat and separately fried. Pepper also lightly fried. Jeera and methi. So all this is one tablespoon and uh, this uh, omam is only half a tablespoon so is methi. So 
So the it's in simmer. If you keep it in high heat, it will burn, and the powder will have a very burnt smell. How to eat this powder is after everything is fried, we'll have to powder it in the small mixer to a very fine powder. Now, when you eat it, you can eat it twice a week along with hot rice and hot melted ghee or sesame oil. It's good for flatulence. It's good for digestion. It's got tremendous health benefits. You can Google and find out the benefits of each ingredient as I give in the description box. And uh, of course, as with anything, you cannot eat too much of it, but a little bit every day or just uh, twice a week to improve your digestive system. Name of the powder? Angaya puri. It's called Angaya puri, and uh, it is one of the most popular South Indian puris, and given to women after they deliver a baby because it helps in improving digestion. So after everything is fried, let it cool, and you can mix up everything and grind them together. Only for frying, it has to be done separate, but for grinding, it can be done all together. I have not yet added the salt because when we dry the turkey berry and the manatakali and the neem leaves, there will be a little bit of salt. We have soaked them in uh, buttermilk and salt. So let us check the salt and then add the salt. And the rock salt also has been fried. Now I am going to powder it. So after powdering, the powder is like this. Somewhat dark in color and fine texture. You have to now bottle it into a clean sterilized bottle and it will last even a year. So the Angaya Puri is ready. Thank you.